Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video I will show you how you can debug your Jetpack Compose UI for your Android app. So if you have some kind of UI layout made in Jetpack Compose and you're just unsure if that is really performant then definitely watch this video because I will show you how you can check that if your UI is performing well, if there are any issues, if there are too many recompositions at a certain part of your app and yeah then I will also make another video if you spot such a performance issues, how you could then fix this. One little info about that before. So this feature that we can actually track recompositions and yeah, basically how often certain parts of our UI are redrawn on our screen, that exists since Android Studio Dolphin. So um, you can see the recomposition count there. But if you also want this highlighting uh, that there is like a, yeah, a visual tab in Android Studio that highlights which parts of your UI are recomposed and recomposed how often, then you need Android Studio Electric Eel. When I'm recording this video, there is um, only the beta version of Electric Eel, so it's not stable yet. So if you want to see that as well, you need to download the beta and maybe you see this much later. If you already have Electric Eel or later, then you absolutely fine and can also just go on with this. But the recomposition count should work for all um, stable Android Studio versions from when I'm recording this video. So what we will do here is, or what I actually prepared, and you can find the code down below in my GitHub repository, is just um, yeah, just a single screen with three different boxes, which you don't see yet here. And we can then click change random color, and then a random box of these three boxes will change its color to a random color. And that's just a very simple example. So we can then see that these boxes are actually recomposing, how often they recompose and things like that. So if we go into Android Studio, and you pulled this code from GitHub or you just opened your personal project, you don't need to follow with this specific example, then there is a new tab or yeah, at least a tab change in Android Studio and that is in the bottom right, this layout inspector. If we open this, then we get this new tab here and then you need to make sure that your app's process is actually selected. So currently no process is selected. We need to select our device and then select our app that we actually want to inspect here. So let's select that, it will attach it. And now we can actually see our Compose UI here directly inside of Android Studio. And if you use an electric eel, then this will be the, the window here that will also show when certain parts of your UI recompose. So for example, if we open our app here and now take a look at the right at our Android Studios window, if I click change random color, then there will be a red flash when a certain composable recomposes. And that's actually quite cool because um, this red flash will be yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more insignificant if there's only a single recomposition and it will be yeah, much more prominent if there are many recompositions. So you can easily use that to spot um, parts in your UI that recompose very, very frequently. And you can also see that on the left, we now have this composable tree here, which just reflects the uh, yeah, UI tree of our current layout that we have opened here. And we can kind of expand this and we can yeah, just browse through our composable tree. So we have a column here. The column contains our three boxes, which are these different colors and a button to actually change these boxes. And what we see here, these numbers, that's actually the recomposition count of the specific composable. You can actually learn a lot with this debugging tool about how Jetpack Compose works when a certain um, composition is skipped. So when Compose decides, hey, um, a state changed, but I will actually not recompose this composable because it actually doesn't do anything with this state. Compose is actually a very smart system and will only recompose what needs to be recomposed, at least if you do it fully right. And now what we see here is our second box, our middle box, as you can see, it's also selected. It was recomposed twice because I clicked the change random color button twice and both these times it selected the middle box. Next to that, for the other boxes, you also see a little two, but it's a little grayed out. So in this column, these numbers actually mean that this composable function, like the, the parent one, in this case, this column, was re-executed to actually um, recompose a composable in that column, but these two composables were actually skipped. 
since only the color for our second box actually changed, so there is no reason for Compose to actually redraw these two composables. That's why it was skipped. So it's just important to know, hey, this column is for how often a composable was recomposed, so redrawn on the screen, and this one was how often could, have, could it have been um, recomposed, but wasn't, because Compose was smart enough to recognize that it was necessary. And you can see our button actually recomposed 20 times. Um, how does that come? Well, we actually have a clickable effect on that button. So you can see there is a ripple effect when we hold on that, which kind of expands. And of course, since that's an animation, our button will recompose quite frequently. So if you take a look at the recomposition count now and I hold down on that button, it will simply, yeah, kind of go up with the recompositions and in the here in our uh, layout editor, in our preview, we also see that red flash when I hold and click on that button because it's always recomposing. And the more it recomposes, the more or the yeah, the more solid this red color will be. So if I click this more frequently, then we just see how everything changes and it will always highlight these colors a little bit if something just recomposes once, but the button will always um, be highlighted the, the strongest because it just recomposes the most. You can see we have 665 recompositions for our button, but only eight, five and five for our different boxes. Um, to show you that, we could also actually go ahead in our code and add a little animation here, which I prepared. So we have, yeah, we just animate our color one value so that it ju um, doesn't jump directly to a certain color. Instead, it smoothly animates this from one color to another. So we can take this, assign it here for the background of our first box. And if we then relaunch this, take a look here and in our layout inspector, then let's expand this a little bit. And also actually scroll um, like this. And if we then change random color and when um, it's actually, it actually hits the first box, then we should see a much more solid red here because it just recomposes more often. So if we click this, um, that wasn't it. That wasn't it either. Nope, nope, nope. Now, okay, now you can see that red color actually stayed quite long because yeah, our first color was actually animated and therefore recomposed quite often. And if we take a look here in our composable tree, then you can see that our first box now recomposed 77 times while the other ones that aren't animated didn't. And these were therefore also skipped quite often. So that's a really, really important feature of the later Android Studio versions. Definitely get used to using this and yeah, to just debug your Compose UI if that's performant. And especially if you have active performant issues maybe your UI is lagging, then use this to find out why. Maybe you're scrolling and your whole screen is recomposing um, while you're scrolling. That's something that's really not necessary but can quickly happen with Compose if you're not doing it right. And then in the next video, I will show you once you've found such um, performance issues, how you can actually fix these. So I will talk about common performance issues in Compose and yeah, just some little hacks that uh, many might not know about what you can actually do to improve your Compose UI's performance. So once that video is out, I will link it right here. Click that and keep watching. Enjoy your rest of your week and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye bye.